guys I'm gonna do a little different review this time um, we have an old gasoline pressure washer and uh, every year it just seems harder and harder to start back over the winter uh, got a little aggravated at it the other day went to Lowe's and picked up this Greenworks Pro uh, it's a 2200 PSI electric pressure washer um, never had one before never used one but guess what at Lowe's you can go get it try it out take it back within 30 days they'll give you your money back so we're gonna give this a try um, we'll take it apart lay it out on the table I'll show you everything that comes with it we'll put it together and we'll do a video of it uh, being used like on the deck and on the house and on a car um, the pressure washer by itself was $269 at Lowe's they got a $20 off right now I got it for $249 and then we picked up this little um, it's a uh, Fuminator, I guess is what they call it. You may have seen it on YouTube. Uh, you put some of your uh, car wash soap in it, your normal soap and some water, and then you hook this onto your pressure washer and it puts foam out on your vehicle. So we're gonna give that a try too and we'll give you uh, an idea what it looks like. So stay tuned, we'll be right back once we get everything opened up. Hi everyone, this is uh, the uh, pressure washer that Mike was discussing earlier. We took everything out of the box. Uh, we did put, go ahead and put the wheels on it to protect the uh, bottom pieces that are on the bottom of the pressure washer. But uh, as you can see, this is what you get whenever you unbox it. So it doesn't look too complicated. So we're gonna go ahead and put it together and then we will come back later and show you what it looks like put together and test it out a little bit. Hi everyone. This is uh, the pressure washer. Took us about 15 minutes to put it together. It wasn't very hard at all. Um, instructions are pretty good, but I'm going to kind of go around it so you can see what it looks like put together. Kind of neat, really simple. Didn't take us, but just like I said, about 15 minutes didn't take long at all. Everything hangs pretty good from the brackets, it's pretty good. Fairly simple. And uh, as I'm doing this, Mike is actually kind of going over the owner's manual. So he can make sure that we have the operations of it the way it's supposed to be. So anyway, so uh, while he's reading that, and give us a few more minutes and we will come back where we're actually using it. And we'll show you the results. Alrighty guys, we got the um, Greenworks pressure washer put together. Um, we tried plugging it up into our GFI outlet in the garage. It keeps kicking the GFI. It's got a GFCI uh, built into the cord. So we just plugged it up inside the house and we're running off a cord in the house. So it's uh, working now. So let's put a 25 degree um, nozzle in it and let's see how good it does. As you see, we've kind of tried it a little bit, but here's an area that we haven't been in. So let's turn it on and see how good it removes the uh, mildew. Alright, that does to an extent. Let's try the 15 degree, the, uh, the yellow nozzle. We'll go into the next board. Try the turbo nozzle. 
comes with it. The turbo nozzle goes from zero to 15 degrees as you're using it. So let's give it a try on this next board. You can see it turning around. I think it cuts it better. Do you? I think so. All right. Yeah, let's you go can back tell. Let's the other boards and see if we can see a difference. So I think it's passed the test on the uh, on the uh, deck uh, with the mildew. So let's do one more board and then we'll try to use it on the side of the house. Alrighty guys, let's try it on another side here, on the north side of the house. So we're going to wet it down. Get our soap applicator, our fulminator out. Get our brush. This is the Job Max cleaner, by the way. It's uh, safe for flowers, trees, shrubs, things like that. And we'll show you a uh, what it looks like here in a second. So let's give this a try and see how it did on this side. There you can see the result yourself. Look better. A whole lot better. Now we've got to do the rest of the house. Now we just need to do the rest of the house. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, here we are. Uh, we're back after using this pressure washer for about an hour. Um, pressure washer comes with a 35 foot cord. It also has its own GFCI on it. Um, we had to put a, a, a 50 foot cord on it 
to get it around back of our house to where we were going. Uh, it doesn't work very well. Uh, the pressure washer will get hot and the GFI will kick off. So um, this may be okay for washing your car, something you just want to plug up right at your garage. But if you want to wash houses or, or need something with a, a longer cord, this is not going to work for you. So we're going to take this product back and go back to a gas one. But hey, this may work for you, but just don't plan on using it very long and you can't get very far away from the power.